Okay, okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is uh, Charles Nebeze, and I'm the Vice President of Business Development and Commercialization with the Center for Excellence in Mining Innovation. And our organization is located in, uh, in, in Canada, actually in a place called Sudbury, Ontario. And uh, it gives me great pleasure to, um, to present to you um, uh, Mr. Silo Malenga, who is the co-founder of uh, Spine Tector Safety Vest. And he's going to be speaking to us about uh, a technology that he has invented, which is a mining safety technology for spinal cord related injuries. And, you know, since I started talking to Celo, you know, we, we have started to identify that there are other use cases for this technology that, uh, you know, are associated with making work safe for um, the people that are working in the construction industry and in other related injuries where injuries in the spine can, can happen. Uh, the presentation is going to be 20 minutes. Uh, we're going to have, um, it's going to be 30 minutes, sorry. Uh, 20 minutes is going to be for question, for the actual presentation piece. Uh, following that is going to be 10 minutes of um, questions and answers. And please feel free to type any questions that you have in the chat box so that Silo can answer them at the, at the during the question and answer period. And what I'll do at that time is read out all the questions and have Silo give you some answers. And any questions that we don't answer, we'll be able to answer those questions uh, later on for you. So without any further ado, I'd like to turn over the floor to Silo. Uh, Silo, go ahead, please. Thank you, Mr. Charles Nyabeza. Good day, good afternoon and good evening to all the listeners across the entire world. I'm Silo Malinga, the co-founder of Spantech Safety Vest. We are a company of uh, two young entrepreneurs based in South Africa, mainly Silo Malinga and Satan Racing. So today I'll be presenting my innovation to you. So we have identified that the current existing personal protective clothing on the market covers most, but not all of the basic human body parts. I mean, we have the helmet for the head, we have the knee pads, we have the safety boots, we have the goggles, as well as the shoulder pads. But there's no product which is catering for the upper body section, precisely your spinal cord, the rib section, as well as your thoracic cavity, which is the chest. We've realized during our investigations that 30% of spine-related injuries occur in mining companies. And that's a direct cost of 18,000 US dollars per year, which occurs per person. Over 54% of laborers in engineering, mining and construction are affected by spinal cord injuries mostly in their cervical region, and, more, and some of them suffer lumbar lesions. We have now come up with our solution, the Spine Tector Safety Vest, which is a new novel upper body mining safety vest designed to reduce the force of impact caused by rock form and heavy machinery on the spinal cord, which is housed by the vertebral column, the rib section, and the shoulder section as well of underground miners and high risk construction workers. These are the product benefits. The aim of the spine tech test is to reduce paralysis and fatality on the spinal cord by 30% per 100 kilogram of object impact, either from a rock fall or impact of heavy machinery or tools. The use of the product will ignite awareness of back injuries which occur in mining companies and construction. The product is preferable, lightweight, with correct ergonomic design, and it's also dry and safe to use. It's designed with the Coolmax technology, incorporating the latest 3D printed carbon fiber technology and nylon components to assist with spine protection. Unlike your common normal safety vest that we know in the market, 
which only offers high visibility for industry applications and mine workers. Spy detector will ensure that mine workers return home safe, unharmed, and are prone from and are immune from injuries on the upper body section. The following are the product features. It has the Coolmax technology, which accelerates evaporation by 20%. It is sweat absorbing with no chemical reaction with the skin. It is quite lightweight with the correct ergonomic design. It is fitted with the latest shock absorbing technology and distribution mechanism on the spinal cord. It is flexible and allows for natural movement. It has flat seams to prevent irritation against skin with compression fit for locking here. And it also has a removable washable lining. And if I may elaborate a little bit further, we identified that most of the personal protective equipment that they use in the mining and construction is usually too bulky and it does not fit the workers well. The following are the areas of protection. The spine tractor safety vest provides support to the lumbar leg to the lumbar region of the spinal, or if I if I could say, it provides support to the lumbar region of the vertebral column, which is housing the spinal cord from strains and twisting during lifting of heavy equipment at work. It reduces the force of impact caused by rock fall and heavy machinery on the spine region, lessening chances of paralysis. It provides support to the lower part of the cervical region from twisting and impact. It increases intra-abdominal pressure, making the worker feel more energetic, while also posing a positive effect in the mining and construction sector. It prevents the lumbar region from being strained, from lifting heavy equipment, and it also provides the rib protection, thoracic protection, as well as chest protection. These are the following support partners. As I've announced before, I'm the co-founder and we have Technology Innovation Agency as one of our previous partners who joined our partnership in 2016. They came on board with a fund of 59,000 US dollars. That's over 1 million rand in local currency of South Africa. We've won the Development Award for Early Stage Business and Innovation from the SAB Foundation, which is 29,000 US dollars. And we are also receiving business support from the Houting Growth and Development Agency. Our latest flagship partnership has been from the Center of Excellence in Mining Innovation, which is based in Canada. The following, um, the, the following is the market validation that we've performed in the product. We have validated the product with the Center for Disease and Control Prevention, with the Mine Health and Safety Council, as well as with the University of Kwazulu Natal. We've realized that only 25,000 egg injuries are reported per annum. That has an average direct cost of 18,000 US dollars per person, as I've announced previously. The indirect cost associated with that is low levels of productivity in mines, the cost which is involved in training new staff as well as replacement. In some instances, you'll find that mining companies will have to shut down because of lack of compliance with safety 
regulations from the fatalities which occur from these instances. Regarding our market progress and traction, we started the project in 2016. We performed the proof of concept. We developed the prototype, the intellectual property, as well as promoting the project on the South Sea Hangman, which was a local TV reality show in South Africa. In 2018, we received the presidential acknowledgement from the Minister of Presidency for SA's Best Innovation. We received a letter of intent or a letter of interest from Polyhammer, which is one of the local mining supplies company in South Africa. We have received an interest to procure by Rustenburg Construction Company, which is also located in South Africa. In 2019-2020, we have also received an interest to procure the product after technical and practical testing from Lonin Platinum Mine in South Africa. We have received an award from the South African Brewers, from the South African Breweries Social Disability Awards. We have been acknowledged and participated on the South African Switzerland Venture Leaders Program. We have been recognized and acknowledged by the BRICS Young Scientist Forum. And finally, we have also recently this year in April secured our partnership with the Center of Excellence in Innovation based in Canada. Regarding our objectives and key results, we between November 2020 and June 2021, we will be involved in developing the test specification report. We will be involved in developing 25 samples of the product, which is already in progress. We will be involved in performing test validation in a lab, in an industrial lab, to be precise, as well as practical environmental testing in an underground mine operation. The following outcomes that we anticipate are a positive test result, as well as a successful environmental testing. Between August and October 2021, we will establish our manufacturing facility, both in South Africa, as well as in Canada. We will implement our marketing strategy, which is, of course, a global marketing strategy. We will actually we have already been involved with securing uptake agreements with mines, but we have all we've budgeted that for August to October 2021. And finally, in November, we will outsource our raw materials and labor to produce for delivery based on the market demand. How can you get involved? We are currently in partnership with Canada's top mining innovation organization, Center for Excellence in Mining Innovation. SEMI will assist, commercialize, and introduce the safety vest both in Canada and other parts of North America as well. We are currently in consultation to test and certify the product for industry requirements with the CSA Group, which is one of the largest testing facilities based in North America. And we are looking for first early adopters as well as testing partners to walk this road with us. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Silo, for that um, presentation. And thank you so much for uh, introducing your technology to, to, to the world. Um, well now we're going to move into the question and, and answer period. And uh, Silo, feel free to um, 
and uh, to activate your video if you want. Um, but uh, the question that we have, number one is from Tsipang. And the question from Tsipang is, um, can spine tech to be used for patients with spinal cord problems at hospitals? Uh, so Cyril, that's your first question. Just go ahead. Uh, spine tech is developed and designed to reduce the force effect on the spinal cord. And some of the application is that the product will be used to either reduce or prevent the possibility of low back pains because we know that most of the workers from industries they suffer from low back pains. And even if, for example, if someone is working in an, in an, in an environment and then they do not get injured on the spinal cord, in their lifetime they will have back pains problems. So the product itself is designed to prevent that from happening. So the application of the product is to be worn in the industries, in the work industry, so that whether the worker gets injured or not, they will know that they are preventing themselves from having the possibility of low back pains. Okay. Thank you very much Silo, for that uh, for the question. And again, to, to our audience, uh, please feel free to uh, post your questions on the chat so that we can, uh, we can read them out for Silo to answer. Um, another question I have Silo here is uh, on, a, I got on a private message here. And the question is, can you comment on the availability of this product for males versus females? Is there any distinction in the product? Thank you for that question, Mr. Charles. The, the product is available for the males and the females because currently we, we, we have only recently developed our prototype, which was not specifically designed for any uh, gender at that instance. However, we are currently developing our 25 samples, which have all, uh, already taken a strain out of us because we had to configure the version for the males as well as the version for the females. So we, we take me to note that the current PPE does not actually accommodate for the females in the industries, which also leads them to possible harm. So we are also looking into that and we also accommodate both the males and the females. So yes, yeah. to answer the question, it's available thank for both. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much for, for that answer. And again, to the audience, uh, please feel free to post your questions on, uh, on the chat so that we can read them out to, to Silo. Silo, another question here is, um, what is the weight, approximate weight of the product? In, the in kilograms. Okay, thank you. The approximate weight of the product, or well, let me say the approximate mass of the product is one kilogram. Okay. That's the medium. Okay. Okay, that's not uh, that's not very heavy, right? <laughs> it's quite light no. to uh, yeah, quite lightly. yeah. And and so you know the other question that I, I have here is you know just regarding um, the safety vest. Can you comment on you know what is the distinct improvement that you are making to the safety vest? Just maybe on a high level. Okay, the distinction that we are trying to make. For, for, okay, let me say this. We, we, in, in the market, we currently have the coveralls. In South Africa, you know, them, they, they usually call them with the informal name, the overalls yeah. in South Africa. But it's the coverall. So the coverall is designed uh, to, uh, to increase visibility, mm -hmm. to prevent skin irritation. It's one of the applications. However, the coverall, it's, it's, it's too flaky. It, 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 it does not even, it, you find that there's no specific uh, types or sizes for individual uh, employees in the mine. So it does not have flat seams. It has loose ends, if I, can, if I can say that. And then the safety vest, on the other hand, uh, the safety vest, uh, I can call it the safety net. It's not a safety vest, it's a safety net. Because of the safety vest, is only designed to increase the visibility of the workers in the workplace. Other than that, there's no any other useful application for the safety vest besides that. So we will take that application of the reflectors which are on the safety vest and put them on our vest. 
And then the work that we'll be able to wear our safety vest, the safety vest that will protect them on the spine against injuries, on the ribs and the shoulders. And they can wear and they can wear that our safety vest in the workplace instead of wearing a safety net. So Perfect. that's one of the distinctions. Perfect. Thank you, thank you for that. And again, to our audience, uh, please feel free to type your questions in the, in the chat box so that Silo can uh, provide some, some answers for that. Okay, I, I guess another question is in terms of availability. Do you see this product being bought by companies or for, the, for storage as a, you know, as a part of the inventory or do you see individuals going to buy it on their own? The, 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 the issue of spine injury mm -hmm. is quite undermined until it happens to the, the individuals. Because you might not be working in a mining company, for example. You might be working in the engineering sector. You might probably be working in a, uh, in a, in a, in a, in some type, in some type of a, an industry which requires you to climb heights, for example. Mm -hmm. So you know that you will obviously lift weights, you will have to bend, you will have to perform strenuous activities which are related to it. At some point, you will complain about back injuries, not, no, sorry, you complain about back pains mm -hmm. which are caused by those activities that you mm -hmm. uh, performed in the workplace. So the spinal, the, the spine tractor is designed to be worn by people who believe that they are at the risk of ex either experiencing spinal cord related injuries or their work requires or puts a lot of strain on their spinal cords. Okay, thank you very much for that um, question. And I have a question here from uh, one of our audience uh, members here. And the question is, um, in the development of um, the, the spine tactile technology, was there any um, input from osteotherapy and the chiropractic professions? That's a good question. Uh, thank you for that question. Yes, we've, we've received that input from the orthopedics and the medical profession. And as I've previously indicated in my presentation that we, as part of our market validation, with the Center for Disease and, uh, and Control and Prevention, uh, which is based in the, in the United States. We are currently in, in consultation and we've previously been con in consultation with them. So they are one of the medical professions that we have been working with throughout the process to actually have a clue or have a vision into how we can really protect the spinal cord because there are a lot of uh, potential uh, injuries which can occur on the spinal cord. So we need to ensure that we are clear as to what kind of protection are we, uh, are we providing to our clients and customers, and also to ensure that what we are promising is what we are delivering. So yes, we've had that input from the medical profession as well. And we are continuously working with them even in our testing process. Okay, very good. Thank you for that. And again, you know what, we are um, encouraging you to type your questions in the, in the message box here. I have another question here. Um, and the question here is, uh, would the body develop a dependency from, from the use of this vest? Possibly, could this you know, end up creating other, other, other problems? Uh, so can you just comment on that, whether there's a dependency that develops from utilization of the spine tactile safety, safety vest? Okay. I'm, I'm not sure uh, what, what type of dependency is the, 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 the audience referring to, but we, if I can comment on that, we need to remember that the spinal cord, the spinal cord inside the vertebral column, the, the exposed part in the vertebral column, which is housing the spinal cord. The spinal cord is the nervous system, which is inside that particular structure. So the, the, the spinal cord, it's a very sensitive, it's a very sensitive human 
uh, feature, if I can put it that way. So we need to ensure that we protect the spinal cord from strains. So using a product like Spine Tector will ensure that you are not putting a lot of strain on your sp spinal cord because, for example, if you lift the heavy weight, then which means at some point that particular force has to be administered in some in, in, in some section of your uh, vertebral column. It's either on your cervical region or your lumbar region. So using the spine tractor will ensure that we reduce the strain which is being experienced by the spinal cord. So we will ensure that either the worker or the individual who is using the product has more chances of not injuring or inconveniencing their spinal cord. Thank you, Silo. Thank you. Thank you for that answer. And I guess the other question here is, uh, in terms of um, other industrial applications, you know, you know, obviously the construction industry is one. Can you comment on any other industries that you think would be able to utilize this uh, technology? Okay. The other industries that can be able to utilize this uh, technology in sporting, in, in sporting activities, we we have mountain uh, mountain racing either mountain the people who climb mountains with bikes depends on what they use for that but it's also part of the recreation recreational activity the the spinal cord can be used in that we are also looking into one sector of using the spine the spine sector in the military division as well so we know that the people in the military, they, they wear bulletproofs, but they do not have a specific apparel to protect their spinal cord. And they usually, when, they, when, when usually there's a military mission, they usually stay in forests where there are rocks, where they climb mountains, hide. So it's also one of the applications that we are looking into, one of the sectors which are very good, uh, which the product can fall into. The people who are doing cycling as well, they only have, they do not have a dedicated uh, support, a PPE. They only have the helmet, I think, as well as some shoes which are not really well configured. So it's also one of the sector, sectors that we are also looking into. Okay, thank you for that answer. And another question here, Silo, is more of, a, of an offer, really. It, would you need any uh, strategic partners that can help you to organize, you know, maybe entry into other markets? Would you be open to that? There's a question here from somebody on an iPhone. They're asking if you are open to um, any partnership to bring this product to other parts of the world? Definitely, definitely. We are open to partnership. We believe that we can do more through partnership. And that's what helps uh, people to achieve the social missions. So yes, we are open to that uh, particular kind of offer. And everyone who has also anything that would, they would like to propose to us, we are also open to to get into discussions. They can either contact us directly on our website, which is listed on, on our last page, or they can contact the Center of Excellence in Mining Innovation. Thank you for that, Celo. And you know what, seeing that we are actually to, down to our last um, minute here, I want to just give Silo an opportunity to maybe just wrap up things for us and tell us, uh, you know, what's what's kind of next, what's the next 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 step, and uh, and say hello and good, and say thank you and goodbye to everybody. Uh, go ahead, Silo. Thank you. I would like to thank everyone who tuned in into today's webinar. Uh, thank you to the Center for Students in Mind Innovation as one of the organizing partners for this exciting uh, program. And I would like to also say this is not the end, but the beginning of greater things. We are looking into 
getting into the mining industry and revolutionizing it, bringing more new safety innovations in partnership with the uh, SEMI. We are currently in negotiation with some of the biggest mining companies in the world, and we will be bringing more innovation into the spine factory. So anyone who has a proposal that they would like to engage us with, we are more than welcome to, to listen to them. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Sila, for that. Uh, and I just want to thank everyone for coming online and uh, we look forward to reconnecting with you via email where we'll be sending you a copy of the presentation and recording and also further answers to some of the questions that we were not able to get to. So again, thank you very much. We look forward to um, speaking to you again. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye now.